Oh, I already have the clocks. Okay. 360. Uh, I don't think I'll work today six hours because today I shouldn't work, but we have an issue. We have a deadline and we are quite late. Uh, anywho, welcome back everyone. I believe we are on... Come back. Sorry about that. Come on, show me the screen. Good. So we are on. <coughs> um, let's take a look. Actually, yesterday I worked more, but that's all right. Uh, so we need to work today. Then I will avoid the mistake I done last time and stream something playable on my gaming channel. So today we are here and it seems I have two pages with this crap. Ah, yeah. So let me close this one and here. So I was working on <coughs> death related crap death related crap and let's start the timers so let's take a look on the code I didn't finish the code because I was starving to death and I, when I got some food and started eating I ate too much and you get the, the, the image after eating too much you feel like eh, okay three hours today is more than enough but because I'm late, um, I need to work more now. I'm quite late because thanks for the last problem I tried to finish. So let me move some of the screens. Oh, there's no chat. Let's put the chat on. Okay, and let's move it a little bit. That's why we need to check all the stuff. So we have several issues here. I am not sure why the 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 sharp bullets only affect the beholder but let's ignore this for now and work on the other bullet so the other bullet on death it should call the animation normal death and why is that <clears throat> in my game engine uh, we are going to try to make different kind of bullets do different kind of death animations for example, if this explosion, maybe it turned the enemies into mush, if it is frozen bullets or whatever uh, on death, it might call the animation of, you know, uh, he become solid frozen thing. And we will connect it with the fire strategy to do the bidding. So we call an animation called death. What if the animation doesn't exist? We need to deal with that. So if the animation doesn't exist, maybe we will make um, the monster just disappear, I don't know. So we have few issues here. The first issue is we cannot kill the monster from the list immediately uh, while the map is trying to draw all the monsters on screen. Because, let's see, control and all. So let's go to the draw section, if I can find it. Uh, where? It's not called draw. It's somewhere here. Give me a second. Okay. Faction region move object game update fire update Go. oh here so drawing backgrounds object blocks creatures so we go through the uh, 
the loop and we cannot just kill it in the middle so we need to set a way to make a lazy deletion to uh, mark the uh, the creatures as dead and when the loop finish all the dead get deleted so what we are going to do we are going to add a new dictionary <coughs> public dictionary string do I need a dictionary Maybe it's just a list. We need only a list. Uh, bro, no, 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 no. Make it bubble. Yeah, yeah, make it protected. Internal list string death um, list. I can call it death note, that would be <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, is equal to new. So here we will populate the book with the names of the dead monsters. And at the end, every time we do the drawing, maybe not the drawing, maybe we should make it uh, someone else responsible on that. Because uh, this guy is doing the split patch, better to do to make the other guys take care of that. So uh, let's make a function to map blocks uh, that should be called from outside. Set and get. Yeah, let's make it here. Uh, public void <coughs> uh, death cleanse for each string in our D in death note. That's kind of fun. Um, if creature dictionary contains key d um creature dictionary remove d and then a uh, faction target remove D and after all of this ends um, death cleanse uh, clear oh not death cleanse death note clear all right so we are going to call this after we draw all the, um, the things so let's go to the update graffiti update tfl fire update what did i draw we called it draw where did I draw? Maybe after all the actions. Yeah, I love it when I cannot find the code immediately. While the code is quite small. So... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's in the draw section. Weird. So in here, do I want to do it here? Oh, yeah, all right, let's do it here. All right. 
Uh, last step is we go to the creature object and when it's dead, it add its animation in the map that it lives in. So, the thing is I have something called sit dead or sit death and I'm not sure if I can use it somehow too. But a step at a time, one step at a time. So sit death. No, that's um. This is the creature object, right? All right. Mm. How do I know which map he's living in? Oh, we can cheat a little bit. No, this won't tell us. Oh, well, I have the current map crap in here as a string. Oh, don't tell me it's particle. I faction, I, Jesus, I cannot find it. Oh, I have these both on, no wonder. So it is called C map, where is it? Where is it? I cannot find the sucker. Oh, uh, it's kind of exists, so whatever. So let's go to game core. Um, current game that it's running creature no this is yeah no map uh current map for this creature um creature no 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 um death note add um what's the id The creature, the C name is the creature name, the, 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 um, the blueprint name. For example, the beholder is called beholder, but each creature has its own name, like beholder01. Um, hopefully I add the name to the creature. Don't tell me I didn't. I was supposed to do it, damn it. Oh wow, I didn't do it. Maybe I done it in the map simulator. Oh wow. Don't you love it when you screw up big time? Uh, where is it? Yep, I done it only in the creature, uh, in the, um, in the map simulator. Jesus Christ. What have you done? The thing is, I cannot do this in front of the camera. Uh, there's some code that I don't want to reveal. How do I load the, the game file and everything because it's not decrypted yet and I cannot work on it as decrypted too uh, Anyway uh, Now what? Mm, yeah, we don't have the idea so um, Well, we are going to move and do the next step. Sorry about that. Uh, there's no death today. It's going to anyone. So we are going to do this on behind. I don't believe it. I didn't move the stuff to them. To, to the game engine. Did I jump over it? 
Anyhow, there we have an issue that I fixed before, and I need to fix again. Um, so let's try to do it. Oh wow! When I screwed up in code, eight people came to the chat. It seems it's my lucky day. So we have a weapon here, and if I shoot without a weapon, it crash. I fixed this problem before, but thanks for my code separation last time, we screwed up big time. So for some reason, uh, it crashed again. For some reason, that mean it failed the equipment condition, because there's something called equipment condition, and it should check if it exists or not. And for some reason, current equipment condition result. Hmm. This function should detect if there is an equipment condition and somehow it failed. So we'll come to the boring part. This will be lovely. Uh, what have you done? Why did it do that? What, what, what's the green line? What's going on here? Get, get the hell out of here. I'm doing this to to cash the D-bag in a certain place. Yeah, there, there is a green line that's trying to tell me something. Oh, it's still running. It's still running. It's still running. So, unfortunately, we need to deal with this problem now. So this is the equipment result. So let's go to the map simulator. Where did it go? And lower the scrap. Make an edit. And let's check the screen. Lower this a little bit. Animation. Hello. And attack, range attack. So you see here, there's a condition here called range weapon. And this condition should ask the user to have a main range weapon any type to do the action. Some reason for somehow it hmm yeah let me check let me check so what we are going to do we are going to do a very silly thing and we will change this into And this is the action conditions that the player can do. So we need attack one. It's alright. Oh wow, the chat is alive somehow. If 10 people called alive. So whenever I do anything, nothing happen. But when I try to attack, let's give him a weapon. With control. Ta-da! Now I can the, uh, check the values in here, and that's why I did that. So, we have an equipment condition here, and I want to take a look on it, and see what the heck is going on. So, we have one result animation, which is... And one equipment condition. Oh, sorry, two result animation on the right and on the left. 
So in here, I don't know if people care if I show them what the heck I'm talking about in here, it's second place or not. This is called the result animation, and we have two sides, on the left and on the right. So, it, it doesn't have no condition key, so it should continue. What? Oh, this is not the no condition, sorry. So, um, because it's not, so it will not continue, but continue the code. Yeah. Here we will refill this with the tag, this thing, I, if I'm not mistaken, this thing, but let's take a look, nope, it's the, the, the one above, the empty one. Contain main range, add equipment. What's going on here? I'm not sure. Oh, here you check all the conditions and add the conditions that's required. Okay. Now you check the values, I believe. So, main range, and this is, what is this? All. So, range open is accepted as all. And it should work. It should freaking work. So this is working because we have a weapon. And it got accepted. It was range type. And range type accepted in the list of all. Now let's remove the weapon. And see what the hell is going on. To be honest, I'm not sure where did it accept the all thing. So I need to focus more on the code and worry less about people getting bored in the chat and leaving immediately. Because when I worry too much, I usually do less performance. So, wow. Oh yeah, sorry, I shouldn't, ah. I shouldn't put these things before I hit control, so. Now we need we, we can add this thing because this one will check everything even if you're doing nothing It will check. Oh, are you doing nothing? Are you on the ground? Then let's play the idle animation and this is what's called the action condition activator It check all your actions and try to do what the character supposed to do Like now I suppose drink my coffee before it get cold So here we have range all weapon And I'm a little bit lost. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure is that all the conditions we have like i believe like all the conditions here so we can make the same action do different thing if he's holding a melee weapon a single hand weapon depends on the game again but now i'm trying just to build the infrastructure and once again we added this So let me check what this is all about. It says all, but it doesn't have all the thing. And I'm not sure how it's checked in the first place. Because all means all the types that's available. 
So it should fail here. Oh yeah, it did. It did fail. So if it, if it fail, it should continue. And continue means it won't do this thing. Oh yeah, it did. It did fail. So if this happen or it fail and it has no condition but it doesn't have no condition so actually it should do this if it fail and it doesn't have to condition so it should return this all right and we changed the code the last time so it doesn't return the animation oh shit it return on the ground and attack that's not the right one why this one is equal to not idle it should equal to idle the last accepted action condition but for some reason it says on the ground and attack should it be on the ground and attack one so we found the issue this value shouldn't be um how to put it shouldn't be changed unless if it comes here that's mean does it um does it get changed based on let me see uh, the question is when I become idle, do I remember it as I'm on idle? Let's take a look. So here we're going to do something a little bit crazy and say if the C name is equal to the creature that we are testing and say if this is the case then we are going to print some data to test um acs no active action ar uh, the thing is this thing is a hash set and we need this guy actually this guy And then we are going to check the name of the action condition, which is in this case, these guys like idle, walk, jump, jump, initialize, jump, continuous. So let's take a look. And we screwed up a little bit. So here it should tell me either one or two or three, depends on the animation and what, what the hell. Nope, it didn't change. So let's move, it become walk, let's stop, it become idle. Let's give him a weapon. It should be ill walk actually. No, 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 it's the same walk. Let's fire. So it returned to normal but you can see the animation how to put it this thing is updated way too fast way too fast hmm. i hate it when that happened or it doesn't scroll with uh, with the last thing so let's remove the weapon and attack and all of a sudden he says well the last successful one was I don't know Jesus was idle then why the hell why the hell 
So, yeah. Even though the last one is printed as idle, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. And we finish the coffee. Hmm. I wonder if I should decrease the amount of time to take the, the creature's control because it seems way too fast. I mean, I want the, the game to be responsive, yeah, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, thank you. I used to have an artist that I used to pay for him and he do work, but unfortunately he left. Because I was stupid enough to pay him in advance twice. And unfortunately I won't be able to continue programming the game, even though I have a huge story, bosses, plans and everything, uh, formulas, but apparently we, I will work on a similar game after I finish working on the game engine as you can see the game engine is still lacking a lot of crap I mean some of the problems give me the grief I don't know how to fix such problems sometimes I wonder if oh crap this is a fucking reference. Hash set, hash set. Fucking A. Fucking A. It's a reference. And he was asking for $30 per hour, then he agreed for 20 but then he changed his mind. And it's, sometimes it's hard to work with other people online, to be honest. I'm a novice. I don't have that experience, too. And I made some stupid decision, thinking, oh, people want to work, and when they get paid, they will be honest and do work, be diligent. But, oh, well... It seems money is not enough to get the trust of others. It's kind of sad. Because when I was in high school, I tried to work with others without money. I didn't have the budget, but nobody want to work for free. Especially for your own dreams and your own projects. So I was like, ah, oh, when I get older and I get money and get budget, people work immediately because they will get paid. Mm. Nope. Now I have some kind of imagination when the engine get ready and I have results, people will come and want to work. And for some reason, I don't think so. So let me try to make a very slow cloning for um, the headset. And let's see. So let me do stupid stuff like jumping and do whatever. Oh, look at that. It crashed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it stopped working after I jumped. It's working normally. Oh wait, I I'm not pressing anything. Yeah, I can press F1. No, oh, wow. Yeah, it's stuck again. 
So Oh When you say young people, how young are they? Well, the school help, the college helps spreading the thing. And leadership need, I don't know, need some self-esteem, I guess. And it is one of the things that I really lack of. Uh, but what to do? What to do? I'm the one who's coding this behemoth. And I have no clue how to fix this problem. It's kind of sad. I don't want to do a sheep way to avoid it. I mean, it's um, an engine. It should receive the data in the file and do whatever the data tell it. Uh, it's kind of hard to deal with data driven. It's not pure 100%. I'm using delegates and um, in some of the places to add more conditions. <sighs> the funny part is the only place I'm sitting the values is in this place. Maybe you're right. When I was in the mid twenties, I used thinking about leadership and a crab much more. After thirties, I started to become a little bit lazy. I just want things to get done. So this is the only criminal we have here. So once again, let's activate this. And give him a weapon and attack. So we attacked. So before it get assigned, this one should have only one condition, which is on the ground. For some reason, it already have the attack. It shouldn't have the attack. This guy is not... Um, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Where who is the guy? Where is the guy who add the crap? Uh, action add. Action... Active action test AR. Okay. Okay. Something is a mess, and I'm not sure what which one. Here, it's dealing with the test hash set, and this is a checker. And this one has two. And no, this is the first time we assigned the original one with these values. Oh, I know why. Because this is a fucking reference once again. Mm. The funny part is, because the first cycle when the idol happened, it connect this one with this one as a reference. But when I removed the, uh, the reference and made it into this, it's... It gave me weird results. Okay, we got the problem. So, the first run that happened with the idle uh, action condition, or the animation, to make it clearer. This one become a reference, it doesn't matter. And... Hmm. Here... 
Why did it fail when this happened? This is the question. So let me do the walk or attack. Let's make the walk once again. So we are walking now. And uh, D bag is taking all its sweet time. And let's check these values. So this one have on the ground already. I don't know how. When it was idle, okay, okay. Now it's clear. And now it should have two. On the ground and walk. Why the hell? It kept walking. AD result. Hmm. Test AD result. Wait a second. When it's idle, but this is a string, it's immutable. Uh, Alright. Yeah, it keeps walking, it doesn't stop. And when it's jump, it crash somehow. Not crash, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Ah, it's um, the animation get fixed, but actually he's not moving at all. So he's not jumping at all, but somehow it broke the cycle. I don't know how. I don't get it. So he's on the air. Wait a second. When you're on the air, you cannot do crap except moving. But it doesn't accept the moving crap. <sighs> I love coding sometimes. So on the air, I can float. He can sit it on the air, but for some reason he doesn't want to float. There are many issues here that I can't get and I don't understand. Uh, maybe the old system was better before I separate the two. Well, stock animation means many things as you can see. Oh, which part is stuck? Is it because you refuse to take uh, the action the new one? E move. Walk, okay. Is it the keyboard refuse to take the things? I don't think so. Let me press F1. Alright, F1 it teleport me to the to the beginning does the joystick work let's say the jo let's see no the control manager I, I i believe it's not the control manager i believe the 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 action set checker this idiot oh okay so you have only on the air why is that is it the physics engine because the physics engine is the is the, the graffiti guy is responsible on the graffiti crap and when the character touch where is the classes eh. now, there are a lot of funny bars going on here i don't get them I mean, all what I did, then this is the problem. All what I did, 
is I have two action sets. A testing one that I'm testing the, the conditions. Is it possible or not? For example, if the guy cannot attack with a bazooka in the air, you will still send a testing combination of actions. Attack in the air. If it fails, it should return and use the last successful one, which is this one. That's why I'm clearing it and adding all the um, all the actions from the testing one if it's successful if it's not successful we actually return the old one on the paper it seems that's the right thing to do but uh, it's not working maybe yeah that's a problem maybe because we didn't change these values to the um the the the, the previous successful values too hmm. so let me do this and check if it's going to work or not these are the data for the uh, result animation for example when he's moving he should continuous continuously move uh the equipment results and the current result animation and the flags the flags do several things including the reflection on the vertically and horizontally so these values are not resetted to the last successful ones so what we need here is to remember the last successful ones so let me do that damn it too many variables too many variables i hate it but what to do? I'm doing a little bit complicated, so a little bit. So, um, these are the variables. And as you notice, they are local variables. And I cannot make the pre successful ones inside, I need to make them outside. <sighs> life and if you make them outside you cannot have them like this uh, you cannot initialize them outside like this can you can you can you so here we will call it pre instead of test So, where should I initialize these suckers? And why can't I initialize this sucker in here? A field initializer cannot reference to a non static field method or property. Okay. I'm thinking a little bit how to initialize these for the idle at least animation. The second part Well, the easiest way to do it is Jesus, too, too many variables. What, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Well, as you can see, this is not a game. This is a game engine. It can create anything in 2D. 
including strategy, fighting games, scholar, RPG, and um, it have the control with the joystick and the mouse. Two years. So uh, seriously, I mean working seriously as my work, my own work. Uh, it has been two years. Uh, around two years. Uh, let's see. No, I passed two years. This was in June, right? Was it? Yeah, it's around two years. I can go and check when was the first time. But actually, Map Simulator 1, I made it in 2010. The script uh, language I made was in 2010. But the original, because this is the third edition, was in 2005 or four. So some part of the codes are quite old, actually, from my old projects. But working seriously and trying to do it as my own job around two years and actually my my vision for the game engine wasn't that huge wasn't that complex i was going to make something like i don't know an rpg maker that can support strategy or whatever and slowly it's just like um this is a string so Yeah, don't you see? Uh, yeah, um, it seems you're not the same Steven that used to watch me last year. Um, let me finish this line and I'll show you something. Um, all the data that you see in the game in here is actually, most of it is data driven. Only very precise stuff that's uh, not data driven. So this silly map and the trees and I can make the, the backgrounds move with the character. There's a lot of crap that's going behind the scene. Actually, I have two, three projects in here. The first project is the engine, Game Lover 3. The third project, not the second project, is the game itself, a test game environment. And the first project is the map simulator. All the data that you see it's running is coming from the game file and the maps and the campaign. This is the game file. So here you can see the languages it support, the game version, whatever, the main campaign name, um, the, the creatures in the game. We have the Beholder and the Walker, the animations, and it's a huge engine actually. And you can play them, you can remove the Collision and the wall to collision and the damage collision crap and you can play the animation Smoking a cigar why the hit doesn't exist. I don't know there is um, Every time I show my work, there's always a bug somehow So this is a com not a complete, almost complete system that you can add crap to the game. The beholder, the artist didn't finish any animation for the creatures. Actually, he didn't finish all the animations for the main character. And the character have, the animations can have uh, slots, like layers. And actually, I can add the layers here. So it's a huge system, by the way. Uh, here you can put the left hand, you can add layers, wh whatever you want, like a backpack, a hat, the armor itself. So in this case, we have the two hands and the weapon. So yeah, it's, it's a fucking huge system I'm working on, it seems since forever. The equipment slots for the character, what he can hold in equipment. This is the, the biggest part. This is the most complex part. How the character behave. So it consists of something I call action condition. Like 
if he is idle, walking, jump initialize, jump while he's in air when you continue jumping, floating, melee attack, you name it. And each one of these consists of smaller actions, and these are decided usually by the control. And you can guess, because this is only a small part of the engine, I'm sorry, but I'm going to make an in uh, the demo later on. Do you see these tabs? Each tab represents a lot of crap, by the way, so it will take forever talking about it. But I just want to show you a small part, and this is only one page. Here is the... Um, let me load the game file. Here is the map simulator. And you load the, the campaign, and you load the map, and voila, you can add a crab in here. You can add another player, and make him a demon, like my f bullets will damage him, and add them here. And you can add more beholders, you can add objects, you can items. Items are kinda old, I need to change the whole thing. Oh, I removed... Hmm. I remade the game file so it doesn't have rocks on tree 2. Oh well. So the more you add to the game file, the more you will see objects in here. For example, I have only two creatures. It have two creatures in here. I have three factions. Factions are like alliance in strategy games. In other words, who can hit who with the bullets. To manage the bullets. And you can keep, I can keep talking about this forever. But it's better to return to the code that I'm failing to fix, I believe. And you have till animation, there's a, a system for it. Background system. This is the background system. So yeah, it's two years of the script system, which is completely empty, you can say. Because I haven't finished this part. Uh, there are some parts working in here, but... The dialogue system. Uh, this is, um, as you can see, the least amount of work has been spent here. I removed the testing, it was pain in the butt. You can test it in the engine immediately. Hey, no problem. I'm always giving my time to show my work, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like to show off every time someone asks me about an engine I don't want him to feel like he's lost because maybe maybe someone will come and watch and actually one of the times someone helped me in something I was thinking way too far and he got the answer when I was working on the formulas so you never know you never know my plan working in here to help and support myself to push myself to work, uh, it motivate me. But my second goal is maybe someone will learn something. Actually, I believe I have some skill in C sharp, so maybe someone will like learn some trick. So as you can see, this is the second project. So I have three projects in here. The map simulator, which is the data driven side of the project, which create the files and the game engine and the game engine is the guy who is emulate the results I'm not sure if this will work loading the pre setting but let's give it a look let's give it a look so if I click right only once nope he's still walking like an idiot And I can fire too, and all of a sudden it stopped working at all. So, why is this going on? So, he was idle. Oh yeah, last step. The last freaking step. Oh, well, to be honest, I don't know how to fix it. I mean, I'm glad this thing is, uh, maybe, maybe because I'm uploading a video to the YouTube. Sorry about that. I'm uploading my 
last successful video to my YouTube channel. I keep the uh, live code streaming in there. But the uh, sad ones, I usually don't upload them, like the last three videos. So, sorry about that. So, now, the last step we need to do is every time we return the failure state, we uh, need to replace the uh, action, the, the data for the animation with the last successful one. So what we're going to do, private, back, condition, failed, or return last. I don't know what to call it. So we um, actually do this. And we do this. And we reverse these guys. Well, actually, I can cut this one and add it here. And in here, every time I say return, like this one, it will actually return the function. Uh, return last AC. Oh, time is up. I need to take my break. And after I finish this line and see if it's going to work or not. It's, it's like the name of a movie. Return the last avatar. I mean AC. Action condition. Alright. And this one. But wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay. Let's give it a try. Let's press right only once. And take a look what will happen. Ah, still not working. I hate my life. It sucks. I will throw myself on the cliff. Uh, so yeah, I have no clue why it behaved like an idiot like this. <sighs> Let me see the debug. I'm breaking my code once again. It's kind of sad. And I cannot fix it. So he can continue walking even though he doesn't take the idle one. He should return idle because I'm not clicking on the right again. So what is going on? I wonder if it's the reset problem. Um, action reset. Where are you? I wonder if let's take a look. Oh, it was a reset problem after all. Okay, let's jump. Oh, jump is working. Let's give him a weapon and fire. Uh, hey, don't don't kill! I uh, thanks God. The killing we have an issue. We cannot finish the code first. I uh, yet I mean, I need to do some of the stuff back the scene. Uh, let me remove the weapon and attack, and it crash again. So <laughs> even though we don't we done all the work, it's still crashing, in a very sad way. So I have no clue why it crashed, even though. The equipment result says, hey, I failed, don't do it. It's it just, Jesus Christ. Why? Why? 
You even know you failed. Why? So let me take a look. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't copy the last fail. But still, let me let it step by step. Step by step. Uh, what's the action condition? What's the name? Idle. Hmm. Um. So the animation condition have no condition. Yeah, I I I need to remember the 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 equipment result too. Lovely. Lovely. But what is this? Isn't that the the equipment result? Why do I have two of them? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is what you get when you make a complicated system. Do you imagine I can add a fighting character in a strategy game that work in a turn base? Like some of the units turn base and some of the units are real time and there's a fighting character in the middle doing a do kid and yeah it's each character do the crap in the map in the game it's not related to the there there's no like um a pattern for the characters or theme each character can do whatever it want actually and this is one of the biggest dreams i used to have to make several games that work in a different way and i have names for them and the stories and style and you, some of the secret items actually doesn't work in the current game. You need to move it to another game to work in there. So actually, I'm trying to make this still... I mean, I'm st still trying to make the stream work somehow. And the Brie result is here. Uh, but let's see. But this guy is not memorized. Yeah, I'm afraid I need to memorize this one. Which is, if we go to the map simulator. Whoops, not a new game. What do you want to do? Kill me? Remaking the file take forever. So if you select a guy and select walk, so the, I need to remember the name, this one, and remember the last successful action, what was uh, the equipment condition name. But anyway, anyway, I worked more than an hour and I have a system to take a break for 10 minutes every hour. So what we are going to do, we go to reset this and put it 10. And put the be right back. And see you in 10 minutes.
So we are back. I didn't take a good walk, but oh well. And oh, reconnection. Let's make sure it's connected. Then we will start talking why the chat is off. Ah, that's what happened last time. I closed the chat instead of closing the beer right back. I see. So Steven says, I used to love a game Valkyrie profile. Game Valkyrie profile. It was turn based, but it had unique animation. Um, I don't know the game, but I used to love turn based uh, games. I used to play Panzer in the 80s. 80s. Early, in, uh, yeah, in, yeah, in the 80s, dang it. I used to play uh, Heroes of Might and Magic and the game before it. What was it called? Something Night. Uh, they were the, the strategy games before the RTS, I guess. There used to be... Um, actually, I have an Arabic game channel that I make some reviews. And I found some funny real-time strategies before 95, but... Oh, wow, they are kind of some kind of combination between turn base and real-time strategy or a combination of 4x and real-time strategy and they were weird thanks for Westwood when they made Dune 2 they established a lot of standards so anyhow we still have three minutes I can I could use it for adding my own work thinking like business people so let's click on this and click on this so I have a programming channel and I'm uploading a new video in there and if you're inter interested you could check my old videos in here mm, most of them are long and most of them are not all of them are smooth some of them I just like keep yabbering and trying to fix the problem just like now so you can uh, I believe the link is in the description and maybe better to show the playlist oh wow I have the private playlist in here too so don't look at the private parts okay and don't take that out of context either so uh, hopefully times is up I tried to play Heroes of Might and Magic 5 recently I have the DVDs here and oh my god I couldn't I couldn't even finish a single map I don't know how I, c I could take all the time and repeat and try and save and load and spend three hours to finish a single map it's just horribly difficult game <laughs> so yeah let, let's let's just keep working so we found the problem I believe that this value is not uh, memorized so let's make a test value and a pre value and where's the section here so what is this thing is a result animation dang it but 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 no this is not the right one oh it's still working I believe it's a string Sorry, I lost the value already. Um, okay, let me close this before I get to color line. This one. This one is a string, right? Right, okay. Right. So, this one is equal to pre this one.
and this one is from this one yeah all right and that's why I keep losing them and Some people really hate seeing a lot of variables outside of functions and I don't blame them they look a little bit ugly and out of of order but but what do you do what do you do Just make the function have seven million parameters well I could do that but to be honest I hate that more I hate that much more especially as you can see it's when I run it it feels like magic but it's not magic it's just a lot of data working to do the result so we have the pre we need to introduce the test one too just to show you how annoying is this and now we, we want to see all of them so um, uh, we can remove this one Wait. Do I need to remove it? I'm not sure. And in here, we actually use the test one. To focus, to focus. As I said, when we fail, we just keep doing the last thing that it was working. That's the whole plan. I believe we left the, con the equipment condition section. Well, we still are calling it. So here's the pre, and the last step is here that we do this one is equal to the test one and let's give it a try I really was hoping to manage to finish the death so I can add monsters and try to do some kind of weird testing but for now we need to do what we can do so let's give him a weapon and attack and let's give him another weapon and attack. And let's give him no weapon and attack and it's still fucking... Okay, calm down. How did that happen? So the test equipment condition failed. Alright. Alright. Uh, so the reset didn't get called in the middle because there's no threading in here it's one thread using the game update thread i was thinking way too far no the thread i have a threading system as well threading management but wait a second don't tell me this is the thread management guy i didn't run it what the hell is going on okay don't think too far something funny happened what did just happen so this guy is fucking clear and why it's not 
idol. Well, I was attacking, then it became idle, then it crashed. It failed the condition. So there's no condition, and the state is idle. Actually, idle three to be more precise, but the state is idle with the. Hmm, why the action set is empty well the test one is not which is all right that's the goal of the test one but this one is empty what the hell i don't you know it didn't get clear it's i hmm. No clue, let's do the most illogical part. Just we test the whole thing. Attack immediately. Yeah, same error. Well, he used to be idle. I mean, look at that. It call it get called like twenty times at least before I even uh, get refl any kind of reflection. This is too smooth. I believe I need to slow it down, but uh, 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 it must be working in the, even in this condition. Uh, it used to be idle. Why it became empty? This is the question. And this guy's called first, or the last, sorry. And it came from here. I, I'm dying to know what the hell run execution in here oh wow really can i do that actually i already did huh. there is nobody resetting the whole thing except this guy uh, but I don't think he's the caliber Because this guy is called after I don't know Let's test that No, he, I'm just I'm just fooling around because I don't I have no ideas um, But I'm kind of a little bit curious too. And actually, more, <laughs> more like suspicious. Um, oh shit! Uh, this will print it more than four times every time because we have three monsters, uh, other than the main character. So it will print it four times. And when I fire. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Do you think. I fear so. I fear so. What the hell? But I can walk and jump and stop and jump, but nothing happened. Why did it get cleared when I done something stupid? 
and now let me remove the weapon and click this is kinda weird let me rebuild sometimes I don't know why I became a programmer Let me remove the weapon and attack and yeah, crash. So... What the hell? Thanks God the be, be right back is not on. Let me get myself something to drink while this thing taking forever. Oh wow, it disappeared immediately because I said it will take forever. Am I complaining a little bit? Sometimes. Alright. Um, the character cannot live without actions in this game. Because the graffiti guy... Uh, in the physics, where is it? Uh, gravity and on the ground every time on the characters hmm. let me think for a second To create worlds, that's why I want to be a programmer. I'm not sure about that. To be honest, at first, I didn't want to make games. At first, I was like, I want to work for Microsoft or any company that deal with, um, with applications. I want to do applications. Or uh, social sciences um, that do statistics and tests. And actually, I have several ideas that deal with AI, but to be honest, if you work alone, it will be hard to make money out of these guys. Uh, but games, especially recently, the, the games business is booming, and it will be uh, foolish not to make some, even though it's not the thing that I am trying to achieve in my life. Well, I made games um, since I was in elementary school. Not in programming, but on paper. So I believe I have some skills, hopefully. Hopefully. What I'm trying to say, even people that don't care about, about video games, uh, start to enter this field because the business is full with them and it's easy to, to sell games, um, comparing it to other projects. That, yeah. Sometimes coding is annoying. Let me go to the test game and check when the graffiti and the action reset happen. So graffiti happens here. And then we check all the sticks. Kinda, I mean... I love making games. But I wish if I make something more useful, if you can say. Something that can build stuff, something can help people to get better. Making games and it's fine, fun is fine. But I believe we should aim to do something better, that, that's all. And besides, if I'm 33 and I cannot make money, I mean, it's still win. Uh, I tried to work in America, but several things happened and I, yeah. I'm home again. I'm um, all again. So, in home, there is no work for such thing. Application making is tough. Most companies outsource the programmers and the code. They don't hire programmers, and I don't blame them for some reason. Uh, but in the US, it's supposed to be easier.
So here, we check in the action condition. Let me go to the map class. And do the action set. Okay. Who's calling the reset? Test. So here is the reset. And here is the gravity. Hmm. And here is uh, the check. For some reason, I feel the stupid resetter is the guy doing it. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lag between the chat and my voice. <laughs> Let me see. For some reason, I believe it's the resetter problem. So what we are going to do... Just for this fucking testing sake... We will do this. It will screw up a lot of the code, but I want to see. Yeah, my jump became a little bit silly. I fall twice faster. Nope, still empty. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Take a deep breath. It returned here. Is there any way that I'm resetting this guy? Nope, I'm not even looking at it. But you see the 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 clearing the deleting became just before um, here happened. Uh, the funny part is if I'm not doing anything wrong it accept it. So the reset doesn't affect it. But when I do something wrong, like firing without Hmm. Hmm. How the hell? How the hell? Okay, I will do something even more stupid. I will go to the test and uh, do this. This is the most ugly thing I ever seen, but hey. For every creature, we will call the graffiti once. Just to test the stupid thing and nope, it's still crashing. And it's empty again. Oh God, for the love's sake. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Is it a local variable? No, it's not a local variable. Wait. It might be a local. Nope, it's not a local variable. It's, it's an innocent variable. Here. Uh. 
action remove. Hmm. Wait a second. When I remove an action, hmm, should I remove it from the testing action or the real one? Hmm, yeah, uh, maybe this is the caliper, uh, but it doesn't make sense because. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember something ugly. This is the old code when I tried to fix the problem. And I was trying to cancel let me let me let me remove this uh, this is a delegate to add the tags which is the action in C sharp to um, how to put it every time you do something successfully in the creature uh, we can do stuff like moving the character, jumping, stuff like that. And this is what's called the tag. And it's using the action to do the stuff. So it's kind of like a delegate. So in idle, he do nothing, for example. But in walk, he move x 4.8. And here I was trying to get the cancel in here. But um, it might be not the issue. It might be... The guy who remove on the ground. But let me take a look. Oh wait, I didn't remove the graffiti. Give me a second. Let me remove the graffiti from the test. <sighs> it's not the problem because when I don't do anything wrong, he is happy. I can roll, I can fire, I can fire up and down, I can fire up. Uh, yeah, the floor here is doesn't detect fire, and you can change that in map uh, editor or the map simulator. But when I remove the stupid weapon and fire, all of a sudden it says, ah, uh, the action set is empty. Like, well, who, how did, uh, why, why? It wasn't empty all the time. It was always having something. Why well, it's empty all of a sudden? So, someone is screwing up and I cannot tell. I mean, we get the cancel in here and nothing in between. So, it must be something from outside. I mean, when I go to the, to the, um, the stack, all of them are fine. Nothing... Hmm. 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 Oh, maybe it is this guy. But I don't know what happened if I remove it. Actually, I don't think I use it at all. Eh, uh, life. Alright. So I must know who who's doing this. Uh, the last guy that I'm suspicious of is the action remove. Uh, let me remove the remover and see what will remove. I mean, what will happen. So let's take a look. Uh, give him a weapon, attack, remove the weapon, attack. And same result. So it wasn't the remover. Now I'm completely out of ideas. <laughs> uh, oh god. This is not funny. This is annoying.
Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. L let me try this. We will depend on the delegate only, which is kind of. We will see. We will see. But wait. That means the beholder won't have one because we didn't do it as a delegate. And nevertheless, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Of course I cannot access it because it's protected internal. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. It won't do any good anyway. I mean, let's think about it. I can remove this one for now. Let's do something stupid once again. Because I'm completely confused. What if we add on ground and let's take the spilling from anywhere on the ground. Just to make sure. Oh crap, it will crash immediately because we adding to Yeah, we have Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh Hmm. Okay, do nothing and attack immediately. No, it's still empty. It's still fucking empty. <laughs> so it's there's no fucking way it's from this guy. It's still fucking empty and I don't I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Why this thing is empty? Uh Don't tell me this spelling is wrong. I will kill you. So we'll come to the show where I keep repeating stupid things for 30 minutes without any kind of results. The sad part is it's always have something in here. I don't mean it has on the ground. And all of a sudden when it crashes it become empty. Now how in the world that happens? I I mean how? Oh what have I done? I remove a parenthesis and I run it in the same time. So if I go to here, it just called the fucking function. And here, this is the activator. It doesn't reset it. It send the testing one. And when the testing one fails, it try to... Hmm. Last one. Why 
why do I have TAC? Well, TAC is uh, related to the... Okay. It's freaking unbelievable. I mean, it shouldn't change except at the end. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Okay. Attack one. What's the volume now? The value is one. Interesting. Which is on the ground. Okay. Step by step till we find who's the fucker that's ruining my day. I wonder if I can add a watch uh, while I'm debugging. This is a desperate move. Just check everything. Even though I won't reach here, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, can I add a watch? So the count is one, all right. By the name of God, Bismillah. I'm looking at the watch and I'm running the sucker. Wait a second. Did it fail? Wait a second. But I, I fired. Wait a second. Hold it. We have an issue. On the air? No, I fired. I even... What the hell? My head hurts a little bit. Um, stop. I'll click on control. It should send attack. And he's on the ground. So it should be on the ground and attack. On the ground and attack. How did the hell it says on the air? So let's add a watch to this guy. And uh, now let's enable all the crap. What? What? Hello? Um, did I miss something? Why did it close the program, dang it? Okay, one more time. This time slowly. And this time I'll click F5. One and two. Checking if the condition is no condition, but it's actually a range weapon. It found it required all the time. The test condition has failed. 
the test of the equipment condition sorry there are many conditions in here and it's continue and then we check uh, if it fail or not so the test result is fail so it should call return last AC so the return last AC now it will call it the uh, active condition is still on the ground So this one is still on the ground. Now all of a sudden it became on air. Who changed this? How can I check or change it? By the way, I'm not familiar how this thing works. But at least we have um, lights on air. That doesn't make fucking sense. So actually it failed correctly, but all of a sudden it's fucked up later on. I mean, on air is not even an action condition. It's not the correct one. So it should fail immediately. So let me do something. If well, I have been dealing with a lot of crap. Uh, this is like seven point eight out of ten. Uh, the problem is we have lost the last safe action condition the last state it became all of a sudden on air and someone is changing that someone is changing that so I might not clear it in a normal way and only remove the tester. Well, how the test is look ah uh, test they are it, it's confusing a little bit. Don't I check if it exists in here first? Yeah. So it shouldn't do anything. So let's disable all of these guys. Not delete. Yeah, when the problem gets huge a little bit, you need to do something like this. By using the, the watcher and see how the hell... Oh, look at that. When I order him to fire and I don't have a weapon, it doesn't crash. But when I jump, it crash. Like, ah, uh, you cannot win them all. You cannot win them all. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, where are we in the creature object? Hmm. Wait. Why this thing is still here? Um, I might need to change the graffiti too. To change only hmm, to use add and remove. So it should add to the test ones. Okay. I can fire and it doesn't crash. It can I can fire with a normal weapon. And I can do secondary fire. And I can fire and move. Can I jump? Can I jump without a weapon? Alright. So actually it was crashing because I had a stupid thing before. I believe we solved it. Thanks God. <laughs> Thanks God. I found you done something today useful. Oh God. I thank you for this moment of peace. Usually I do more tasks every day, but recently I'm doing really horribly. Unfortunately, um, this one I need to delay it because I need to do this behind the scene. So we are going to turn them into purple. Um, a little bit less pliny type of colors. Still pliny. So we are going to jump to three. Oh, do I want to do that? <sighs> so I need to implement something called layer slot enlargements. So in the accessories, we can enlarge the accessories form in the animation. For example, imagine you want to make Super Thor Hammer attack. And all of a sudden, the weapon become larger, the, sl the layer itself. Uh, yeah, it's, sometimes I have weird ideas. Uh, so let me change the weapon size when he's walking. Maybe when he's attacking. Uh, I don't know. Let, let's make it when he's walking. Let's make the weapon larger by... 25% uh, What? Don't tell me the save is not working Yep uh, The save is not working in the first place So we need to fix that first so in here, this is one of these annoying part to the core. So I haven't dealt with th these guys for a while, so I need to view update, change the viewer, this guy. And this one is a Timberry guy that saved the values, but we need the GUI info update. So, here it says it saved him. Then the loader is the problem. Whenever I move, No, 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 this is the loader. Where's the saver? Where's... Sharp savior? No, no, not that guy. Okay. 
I believe this is the savior. But I don't see it. Ah, the, the here, sorry. So we are saving this one by using the clone. Okay. Uh, layer slot clone. So let's go to the animation. Let's go to the layer slot. I hate this crap. And let's go to the clone. It says it changed them. Okay. Okay. Then the guy who. Where were we? Where were we? Not here. The guy that changed this guy information is not updated when I leave um, these guys. So, okay. Okay. Yep. There is no leave thing. Is there a leave thing in here? Yep. Uh, so we need to add leave in here. It took me forever to finish this crap, guys. I mean, wow. I don't want to even remember the old days. Oh, wait. There's a leave in here. And this guy. No leave. Come on. So we need to move these guys to their right section. Uh, it is in the animation section. Yeah, it is 5,500 or 600 lines, so... Some people laugh at me when they see this huge amount of code. I mean, they always think like, Oh, your code must be less than this amount of number. No matter what your project do. Uh, I, I don't know how they think like this. I mean... I mean, it's not a homework. If it's homework, it usually doesn't do even... Subsection of all this crap. Especially when you're giving a user a tool to edit the stuff and save and have uh, safe failure uh, mechanism. Like if he click on cancel, it doesn't save any changes he done. Uh, I mean, these kinds of crabs take some time. I believe this is the section actually, the layer slot. Yep. Section 3. I know! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scream. Um, here. So let's add them here after leave. Uh, can I take a look on my stupid thing, please? Thank you. So in here, this one for the width and that one for the height, it's similar to these guys. So uh, we do the check and we say ls ewa tab 3. One of the times someone was screaming at me, Why do you write weird names? Why don't you type AA and VV and just make the variables easy to know? I was like, oh, sure. Um, let, let me show you how many <laughs> components do I have. <laughs> so, here you go here. Um, the problem is I don't have one or two components in here, you know. I mean, the labels themselves are exceeding more than 200s. So, good luck in naming them AA and BB and symbol names. So, 
So I don't need to uh, update the viewer. I just need to change the enlargement width is equal to int parse and i know i should try the the value is parsable or not but actually i'm protecting the text boxes from entering anything other than numbers or negative must be in the beginning so it's protected uh, the other way the the input itself is protected so we need to do a similar thing in here, but this time for the height, and this one become H, and this one become H hat, LC hat. So let's take a look. Oh, seven minutes remaining. Actually, I'm happy I fixed some of the stuff in the activator. It was a pain in the butt, but at least, oh uh, no, I need to edit, not load, dang it. I'm sorry the font is small, I know it's kind of hard to read, but I'm trying to make my uh, application work on any screen. I made a mistake before in one of the games, and I made it to work on large screens, large Mac square screens and they stopped reducing anything higher than 800 in the 2000 uh, in the height so the screen I was using like 2800 by 2600 or something a very weird all Mac 9080 something screen uh, so the game main uh, page or the main forum it was made in Visual Basic 5 using uh, GDI uh, to draw the thing. Uh, it was too large and uh, they made the, the, the thin screens later on before the... Um, I'm not sure if they, they called the LCD or not at that time. So yeah, my game doesn't work in the newer screens. Even the, the new screens that we have these days, it's it just too high. So I'm trying to make the GUIs a little bit compact after that problem. Anyway, uh, I shouldn't apologize so much as well. I was going to apologize going sidewalk. But actually, I believe the, these kinds of advices are like learning from your own old mistakes. Sometimes it's helpful to know them. So we want to change the weapon. So if I change the, this frame and made it 25 by 25, do you save? Thanks God. So 25, 25, uh, 35, 35, 40, 40, 20, 20. Okay save save let's move the file from the map simulator and move it to the game folder and now I'm going to close all the guys that I'm not going to deal with And we are going to click on Control M O and check where's the draw. And here it is. And we will go to the creature section. And actually it's the weapon. No, the creature section. And this is the layer printing. So if it is a weapon. Actually, I need to move the calculation bar to the function that do the multiplication later on because I feel it's wrong to do the calculation while you're drawing 
whether to do it outside I'm I'm not sure because uh, these data are sent to the VGR card I believe right I mean this is a work up from the direct X crap which is work up from the XNA this is mono game by the way so I believe I believe the, these data the, these functions are directly sent to the VGA but I'm, I'm sure they know their crap much more than me I mean I'm sure they know how to optimize the crap so here's the scale we need to to um, multiply it with the enlargement how can we do that um, do we have access to the frame Mm, give me a second. I need to co collect myself from all the crap. Holy tomato. So we can access the current layer slot from here. A with multiply by 0 0.01 and that will make it um, percentage so 25 it become 25 but hmm actually so plus one so it become like 125 and here it become e height so let's test this curve and see how many how much code did I break so if I'm walking normally nothing happened when I have a weapon nothing happened yeah I don't have idle while holding a weapon because the artist didn't throw the bars, I was going to give him an information if he's an idol and he's holding a weapon, he should put it on his back. So it appear on his back. But anyway, anyway. When I walk, it should enlarge. Yes, it worked. Do you see that? It gets larger, then it gets smaller. Just for the testing purposes. Let's give him another weapon. Another weapon. Another weapon. Another weapon. Yeah, it's working. Now let's make the enlargement for the other parts. That was easy. I thought it would be much harder. Let's do it to the normal um, uh, accessory because we have more than one type of accessories. We have the, the like the hands and the armor, which is not part of the equipment. Uh, it is. <laughs> We, we can actually make creatures hold other creatures like imagine if there's a monster that can split and merge so actually the equip type can be either a weapon a creature or an accessory like the right hand the left hand that they are not equipments or anything but they are part of the character so there you go so we finish this uh, section and then our is up so we need to make this one into blue because we tested it and it seems fine uh, number four will be quite difficult because i need to deal with something i haven't dealt with for ages the gui component i will try to make uh, the game make a gui that's me i need to access my gui crap jesus christ will take forever to learn on the system again um, so let me give you a taste how the GUI look like uh, excuse me it's my own drawing so it's kind of creepy so I have a GUI system I worked on it last year and I have buttons and they can send scripts and they can do crap 
the script is outdated but still working but i need to remove the script section and remake it anyway i'll try to make a text box that it can take data from the user i already want to cry but what to do it will be difficult it won't be easy so we will see about that after the break
Oops, did I take too long? Sorry about that. Um, I was talking to my youngest brother and I forgot about the time. 10 minutes can fly really freaking fast when you don't work. So this is the third hour and it might be the last hour for my work. And to be honest, I really want to leave. Uh, but uh, I will try to do this task. I still have few tasks to finish the tasks of the week. I need to finish these two. And hopefully they will be much easier than this task. And I need to finish these two. And I will finish the, all the tasks for the deadline. So better to do it. Better to do it. Because only two days left for the deadline. And we need to do the covers the deadline. Ah, here. So we are here, and this is the deadline. And this should be an off day, and this day I should work on my gaming channel, but because I was late on work, that's why I need to work on all the days before. <sighs> it's too late. I don't want to miss the deadline. So, in other words, we will try our best to finish this task. So we need to add a GUI, Timberlate, God help me, God help me, to take an input, uh, a user input, and we can take two tiles of input and what the hell is going on? Why do I have only one guy watching? It was 11. Anyhow, maybe because, yeah, the delay, they thought I will never return. That's all right. That's uh, alright. Where were we? I was saying we need to add a Timberlake to the GUI system to take a user input. First of all, we need to make some kind of a border. And in that in this border, when you click on it on with the mouse, it will draw some kind of I don't know what's called in English. This thing, do you see this line that flicker, appear and disappear? We need to draw something like this to impression the keyboard text thing. And after that, we need to program it to accept letters and show the English font letters. Not only that, it need to accept the dialogue system, which mean it should accept my own Arabic language. But one step at a time as usual, let's try to focus on making it for English first. Then we will see if we can make it accept Arabic, but actually we can't because the Arabic system is not done yet. It's done only in the map simulator. And this is the task of after here, I'll work on it. So we won't do the complete thing. We will complete it in here. So in the future, hopefully if you watch me how to suffer trying to do this. So first of all, let me take a look on. We already have a dialogue. Hmm. Wait, this is, hmm. This is like, um, the frame itself. What the hell is going on? This frame. Frame MC. Frame MC. Then why that thing is called Dialogue MC? So as you can see, um, yeah.
I need to learn how my GUI system works. So all these guys are on the same group and this is a script. So what happened if we let, let, let's 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 try to add a dialogue. So dialogue MC add menu component um, ID let's call it D1 um, This is the dialogue system and we shouldn't create ones in the middle. We actually should load them from the data, from the file. From, I'm not sure if I'm going to add them into their own data or in the game file, but it doesn't matter. This is for testing purposes after all. Uh, image F1, uh, layer zero, group number zero, Position, let's make it 10 10. Visible script um, 300, 230. Hmm. Um, let me check the frame and the frame take. A string name. No, I take um, hmm, a collection of strings. Uh, so this won't work that easily. But this thing is similar to the frame. I'm not sure what's the difference is, to be honest. I was trying to make one. And it has default text wrapper. Uh, let's take a look on the frame. It has a default text wrapper too. Holy potato. I have no clue what this code for. What is M dialog? Mm, it's not completed. Yep. So dialog is an abstract class. It seems. Let me see. So the frame, no, the frame is a menu component. Are we confused yet? Yeah. Uh, let's forget about the tests and try to do it blindly and pray that it will work. So let's do the text MC. And we already have a list of crap, a constructor. And in the text, as I said, we need some kind of a box. Welcome to the silent programmer who is totally confused. Um, 
How can I draw a border now? Jesus. Um, you can use the same, we can use the same trick by enlarging one dot and make it look like a frame. Um, it's draggable, okay. Uh, let me go to the um, No, this is saving the order Saving the order Because there's a priority crab because it can have two menus and they go over each other's um, Test game And let's go to the draw and here This is drawing the map, but who's drawing the GUI? Here, menu component draw, split. So I was going to the right position, okay. Uh, let's see. Jesus Christ. We are going to, do, to deal with the link list now, so anyone who's studying in the college Java 1, Oh, data structure. No, it was in Java 2, right? Link least. Link least. Link least. Yeah, it's funny when you get taught by someone with a weird accent. <sighs> not that, it's not that my stupid accent any better. The stupid bug. I have a bug that's getting on screen on my hand and on my empty juice boxes everywhere and I cannot catch it. I wish you would just die by my anger or Okay, focus. Here we drawing the stupid things. The gooey. <clears throat> and this is when I'm dragging it I guess? No, this is string. Okay. So here we're going through all the sub things, okay. G texture, white. Because I made a trick to, um, it's easier to show than to talk, I guess. Do you see this menu, this crabby menu? It actually consists of a frame, which has three components. This one that I'm dragging, the white box, and this one. The white box is actually one point that's stretched. And three buttons. So these are the three buttons, and this is the frame MC. The frame MC itself has three components. So if we go to the frame MC, Inside the constructor, it has three components. So the frame MC itself. Wait a minute. The frame MC has a frame MC inside it. What the hell is this? What's going on? Why is this? Why? Oh, sorry, uh, this is add component function. It add this one. Okay, 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 okay. I almost got a um, panic attack. Oh, it's already deal with the uh, dialogue, so I can change the, the language. Uh, which key was it? I don't see the language change. There's a way to change the language in here. Maybe I disable it from the control, but anyway, anyway. Here, there's a way to change it. G image layer. Width and height. 
So let's go to the component. Let's check the G image. I don't see G image. So the texture is GUI F1. No, this one. This is FC1, FC2, white. There is no F1, what the hell? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's make another one and make it look like light gray. Man, I'm really not sure what to do, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm really trying. And let's save it as gray. Okay. Because I don't see where is the. Um, oh wait, I didn't check which one is this one. Um, so C. Has button, 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 FCC2, FCC2, frame MC. I want to check the frame MC. So, oh yeah, the. Shouldn't I check the last one first to draw them? Yeah, it go by back the previous. But let's say F1, and I don't remember any um, content that have the name F1. Where's the pipeline? GUI There's no fucking if oh wait a hell what what's this? So it is F1 okay Okay But I have white why didn't I use white? Damn it Mr. White Alright So let's add the gray Come on drag the sucker And let's rebuild. Alright. So now we have gray. So now let's pray. I'm going to try to mimic what was going on the frame it's create a frame and it remember what the hell it is and it added to the list and do the the crap so let's try to mimic it so here uh, we will make something called text mc TMC and then we add it at the end to to the priority list and then we need to send these variables why does it accept a, a string um, yeah, we might, we might um, accept 
dialogue inside the text box. For example, when the text box say, um, enter your name here or whatever. And when you click on the mouse, I can check if it says, click, uh, enter your name here. It immediately, uh, Uh, clear the text box Do we need subscript to the text box? Uh, I don't know why it doesn't have subscript, but oh well um, Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I'm not sure how it will look like, but. Oh boy. Oh boy. So let's in the test in here. Add a text box. And let's call it text box one. And let's put a new text in here. Um, I don't want to put Arabic letters and screw up everything, so we will keep it English English. Uh, let's make T1. T1. And this is um, the image. No, gray. Same layer same group so it will move with everyone the position let's put it above button one which is but the same height um 190 two no script Hmm. With um, fifty and height forty-eight. I don't know. I don't know if this will look gray or not. But let's take a look. Oh, look at that! It's gray. All right. So forty-eight is too much. Let's make it um, twenty-five, and let's make it a little bit taller. So blind coding sometimes works. So here's the text box. Let's make it below button three. So button three is at 50. So let's move it into um, 50 plus 25. So 75. So let's make it 80. So there you go. But it's not in the same... Um, because this one's 50, this one's 60. And so we can change this one into 50, 50, 170. And there you go. So now we want, if we click on the sucker, it will print a line somehow. Uh, beat me, I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, the first thing we will do, yeah, we can use the white crab again. Um, we will add another component. Uh, does anyone know what's the thing called this thing? The white thing? Text mark, I believe. Uh, let me search for it. Oh, the, the video has been uploaded, so... We can move from here. I don't know what's called to be honest. Oh well, I will call it text mark, but I'm sure it has a name and I don't know what it is. 
Maybe if if I search for the images. Oh, this is text marker. Maybe it's um, yeah, and this is the highlight. I don't know. I don't know. So let's make a new object in here. kind of funny to give him an object by himself but uh, the, this is the trick this is the trick um, it should be always above the text box because each text box has one uh, we, we need to do some tricks like if you have more than one text box and you click on one and you click on another the other one the all the rest of the text box marks should be invisible so we need to do some of the tricks like these. Uh, can I copy one? Like make a copy, paste, rename. So here in the text mark, it doesn't has a dialogue. Wait a second. In the frame, we add two objects called if, is FCC1. Ah, they are defined here. Uh, do you think I should define it there? Maybe, maybe, maybe. So let me take a look on them. So they are more symbol. And they are considered as a menu component. And uh, valuable, variables are redefined. It's a neat trick. It's a neat trick. So actually, text mark should be part of the text box. So yeah, let me... Um, text mark. No, this is the frame. So we need to do something like this. Um, hmm. I want to see how short they are. Um, there is no create component, so we don't we don't need this one. Uh, it just has. Um, the constructor and it required the G image is fixed it should be it should be uh, white um, oh oh sorry the image the image is fixed actually even the name is fixed um layer actually even if it is fixed it's still part of this stupid thing focus a little bit so you focus okay 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 so here we add the stupid thing uh text mark mc uh, TMMC new text mark 
So the ID, the, the, the ID is equal to the ID plus something. So just like the frame, we added some kind of uh, suffix. So we call it TMC, OMC. So if we have a text box called T T1, its marker will be called T1 TMCC. Um, this one is empty, but actually it should accept, oh wait, this is the image. Wait, 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 ID, name, what's the difference? Take a little, take a little. Hmm. Ah, is that a group name? I don't know what's the G name for. Oh well. TMC. TMMC. The image is, as I said, fixed. The layer is the same layer. The group number is the same group number. The Rx should be one, and the height should be 14. And it's visible for now, let's make it true. But later on, I'll make it false. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the X. Hmm. Um, uh, Rx plus 1. Ry plus 1. Um, um, script is empty. This one is 114. All right. Then we add it to the priority list. Great. Ah, I hardly can see it actually, but it is there. Uh, even if it blinks, it will never be visible. So let's make it a little bit wider. It's still hard to see. Still hard to see. Okay. Now let's make it false. And we will try to make it visible when we click on it. So, um, Let's check the frame, how does it deal with the mouse? It actually doesn't. Hmm. Buttons. Let's check the buttons. Uh, how the mouse works then? Damn it. What is M dialog? I don't know. As I told you uh, before I start working on this section, it has been more than a year uh, when I finished this fiasco. So I'm kind of not that familiar with it. I need to get acquaintance with it a little bit. Uh, drag and release. So the menu, com the, the 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 father, the father guy, the menu component, uh, deal with the mouse. You have here the text wrapper, the default text wrapper, rise L R F flag. I have no freaking clue. Refresh the language. 
find exist priority check clicked so mouse left click oh to fire the script damn it to fire script this is part of my fucking script I need to change it a little bit and make it like a delegate like more than a script so if the component is visible and the group number is a group number on the mouse position for example, if um, I have this menu and there's a button here, right? What if this menu in here and I clicked on here? Does that mean I click on the button behind? No, it should be on the same layer. So this one's ChickNet, I believe. And if check if the mouse position is in the range. I could replace all of this crab with um, rectangle um, intersect. Oh wow, this is really bad. I check the type and if there's a certain type then it do something. If not, it do a script. Hmm. I could replace the script with uh, delegate. I learned how to do some tricks later on, which I can replace the system. But replacing the system, it need more effort. Need more effort, and I'm already getting sick of coding. Damn it! Uh, yep, I need to do that. I need to do this shit. Damn it! Uh, not this page. You really want to do that? This is horrible. And please, Mr. Buck, go away. Mm. Oh, wait, I fixed this thing. Ta-da! In menu component, the click uh, is fires a script. Uh, change it into a delegate. So this is uh, four point A or point one, it doesn't matter. I need to do these two uh, behind. <sighs> so let's take a look. So if it is an FCC, it fires a script, else it fires a script. Let's try to make a delegate and these guys inside their delegates fire the script. So I'm going to leave the script, which hmm, a little bit slow to be honest. I mean, I feel it's slow, but it's fine. Um, but you know the script parser and all the crap. Um, hard code is always faster, right? Right? All right. So this is the menu component. So let's add a delegate at the end.
and let's call it mouse click del and let's make another one um I kind of forgot how I made the delegates for my animated vertical, so let's cheat a little bit. See? 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 I need something called void. Sometimes I feel I'm screwing up big time. Ah! Uh, the delegate comes first. What now? I was uh, I'm losing my patient. What was the difference between this and this? Delegate, delegate. Ah. Silly you. So let's make one with mouse click and one with mouse drag, hopefully. But let's take a look on the code. So this is check click. And this is check drag. Uh, the drag might be the same thing. I mean, I mean what you will do with dragging other than moving the objects Actually, I have a game that the well Yeah Maybe dragging equipments and stuff So later on we might need the uh, delegate for the drop So why? So here, if this is the most priority, the uh, layer, and And instead of all of this code, we uh, call C value mouse click. Really? Oh yeah, I need to initialize it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the animated vertical, this is the delegate, but actually we make a function in here. Mm. But how the function is called then? Okay, let's give it a try. So, um, this is the delegate, all right? And, um, uh, uh, let me, let me sheet a little bit. Uh, yeah, but this is another delegate. I'm confused! Um, mouse click. Uh, let me just copy the whole thing. I'm not sure if this is the one I'm using in the first place. I know, a little bit pathetic. But to be honest, uh, it has been more than an hour I'm thinking, let me go and do something more fun.
I'm starting. I start to lose my. Um, oh. All right. All right. Yeah, I need to get more familiar with the syntax. So this guy will call this guy, but this guy, as you can see, it's not initialized yet. So we need to initialize it to all our um, our own um, children thing. So we go to the button and do this. I believe. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, protected internal override. Cannot override because when you combine it, it's not a function. You are killing me in many ways. Do you know that? Um, in the game I and I, we are replacing them uh, by doing equal. Equal? Alright. Alright, fine equal so we do and the game and I do I mention the type no uh, just equal really like this I'm confused a little bit. Okay. Action request is a delegate. And we are calling it inside the initialize. Why cannot I call it inside in ah yeah okay? An object reference is required for the non-static field method of property. Uh, we live and learn, they say. We live and learn. Yeah, I'm sure I did this correctly. Um, maybe MC mouse click? Okay. Okay, we finally got it. Because we are not talking to this thing, but we are talking about this thing. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. My bad. Uh, now we need to add this guy to all this uh, constructor. Actually, we should add um, one for each. Oh, well. There's no objects here. DMC DMC Okay Now we need to save and close all the suckers before I lose my mind This is the second time I use delegates 
and this project in this way. So you see in here the if C we have the scripts get fired and we are removing that and instead we are just going to fire the script my own script which I'm a little bit a little bit too proud of it FCCM1 I believe this one so here um, and we do this oh boy oh boy um step by step first of all we need to use ssi this is um, what do you call it? Damn, am I that tired? The namespace for my interpreter. And now we need to add the variables, values, things. And we say if cc1 script. No. Oh man. Oh man. You gotta be freaking kidding me. <sighs> we need to go to the mini component, check the script. It's protected. Why it's not protected internal? Okay. Um what's this? Oh crap. Event dealer. Mm. Okay. Event dealer is um Is an interface that uh, my interpreter deal with yeah okay so the father is an event dealer so all the kids are event dealer okay last thing what is the last thing um, oh it's the, the click hmm. all right so actually we lied here we need a uh, mouse click so we need to go to the delegate string mouse click right and i need to fix all of them so here we send it tim s Oh, let's call it, well, I need to call it somewhere else. And here, we need to call it uh, mouse click. All right, now let's return to the frame. And let's test it. So let's save. Figured. Um, why this L is capital? Jesus Christ. Let's return to the frame. Oh, 
Of course. Oh. The problem is we have a check actually here um, if the mouse position is on the X or not and that's why so we need to uh, add the check here and this start to become I don't know either more interesting or more annoying uh, uh, I believe we need to send the mouse position no we definitely we need to send the mouse position um, yeah spend all the day doing crappy things lovely life so the mouse position is a victor too so we need to add to the delegate another thing if I made a simple design before I do all this crap, and Victor uh, Mouse Position. So make it so, make it so, make it so. So we set the mouse and now we need to add mouse position to all of them. Um, actually I can make this one into a function for general usage and instead of creating it from the zero every time I can recall it for others. And I might do it next after I fix these um, issues. All right. So here, instead of C, we have the name of the component because C was a pointer to the priority list. But we move the code. We move the code to make it more. Uh, customizable um, uh, mouse position so let's give it another try oh the draggable is the same thing we didn't change the code but when we click on it anywhere, nothing happened. But when we click on the red X, it closed. So the test has passed. So in here, in the frame, uh, check the position of the X. And if it is near the red X, which is the farthest left, right on the same height, blah, 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 uh, do the script. So based on the script we send in here, which is fixing the situation and do that. And uh, now we need to fire the, the script for the buttons at least. So let's go to the button. And here we need to fire the script. So let's go to the menu component. And this is how I used to fire the normal script. So let's go to the buttons and add this code. And here is called MC. So here is called MC. And I send the whole object as an event dealer. The event dealer knows who has made. The, the 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 script and who, which target is it and 
So it know the, the, the trigger and the source. That's what's the event dealer for. So we need to um, include the interface or the namespace, I mean, and all of them. No, game I and I doesn't need it. What am I doing? Focus. All right. Now we want to make the marker disappear when I click on it. So let me close the other guys. So this is text MC, and when I click on the normal text box, it make the marker its own marker disappear. How can we do that? So this one is static. So let's do PL. Hmm. Oh crap. Uh, it's a linked list. It's not. Yeah. Cannot I access? Fine, get lost. Give me a second. Give me a second. Many component. Priority list. Text wrapper. Groups it visible. Hmm. Nope. That will screw up everything. I'm sure I made fine and crap. So this is add, this is set priority. This is resort. This is get layer. What the hell? I didn't make get fine. Yeah. Why? Why do I do stupid stuff and keep doing them? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is one of these codes that I kept adding and removed from it till it dies and then remade it again. So I believe the funky functions I delete them at the end because they weren't behaving that good. So I kind of don't, I forgot what this is, but I made. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a normal link list. So why can't I access its own functions? So let me go to the link list. Oh. Oh, give me a second. It's a wrapper over a link list. So, P A R. Uh, what happened if I make this fucker as public? It shouldn't be public, it should be protected internal. Fine. Okay. Actually, I can make a wrapper functions to make fine and confine and whatever. But I want to access this sucker. I know. I know. I should take a break. But screw the break. This guy is fucking annoying me. Let's just keep working. So we need 
to find by using the name and this one is we'll find it based on the menu component hmm. so I need to make a, a comparator or equalitor or fuck 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 I don't know um can I uh, do this How do I do the thing? Damn it! I always screw up with this thing. Um, the lambda thing. I always screw with it. Uh, where was the last time I used it? Yeah. Depending on my own memory. Ha. Um, C sharp find lambda if I can spell. I don't care, I just want to finish some of the stuff. Keep pushing, keep pushing the rock. I don't give a crap, just keep pushing. They are using something I never seen before. What the heck is going on here? I just want to use lambda, damn it. Was it lambda or linko? Linko looked like a sequel. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it it is fine. It is fine. So it worked with fine. So. It was the right expression, but for some reason it's not working. So let's make this one here. And is this. Maybe it doesn't accept the, um, the crap first. Okay. Yeah, I, I cannot access the thing. So it should be something like this, but I'm not sure why I'm screwing up big time. I, I believe not all defined functions work like that. Uh, let me search for um, C sharp linked list find lambda but this is a least this is not link least so Use x, x greater than 20. Symbol. And it's working. Okay, 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 okay. We give up. We give up. We go to the priority list and copy the damn thing. Is it possible to traverse in a link list using Lambda? Sure, if you are using the .NET implementation link list, this is implement I interval 
you can use the link and get lost get lost get lost <laughs> get lost uh, if you meant where whether you can use lambda specifically then you can do the following to use recursively. I never seen this impression in my life before. What is he doing? I seen this one, it's similar to action. And he defined it here. Hmm. Let's give it a try. So, yeah, I'm getting tired too. I know, I know. So this thing is not working. So he defined a funk. Uh, and, but why did he define two nodes? Ah, to return the next one, right? So what's this code is? This code check if it is last, and if it is not last, uh, to return the same function. Okay. Um, so it accept two nodes. Why it does accept two nodes? Shouldn't it accept one node? And why didn't he say in in dot next? Hmm. Uh, to be honest, this one is a little bit not sure. I mean, I don't see him using dot next, and I don't want to do something that I'm not sure what it does it do. So this guy doesn't deal with link list. Screw him. And screw me. And screw everyone else. How to search link list? I don't want to do next, 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 there, there, I have made a function like this and I don't know why I removed it to be honest. And um, actually yeah, 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 um, a little bit more tidy than my own code. But I give up. Let's do the next thing. And I'm getting tired. Maybe I should take a break for 10 minutes. But if I take a break next 10 minutes, I'll work for 20 minutes. Uh, that's kind of silly. So let's try to bush, bush, bush till I finish. And I don't care about the map simulator anymore. Get out. All right. So let's go to the priority list. List, 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 and make a fine.
Well, I don't need to return the whole node. I can return only the the, the reference for the object. Uh, find ID. Uh, string ID. If Oh, let's make a node. It has been a while, so I might screw up big time. Um, mm, first one, zero. No. First. Alright. Now we need to keep going up, 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 up till we find the idea. If we find nothing, we return null. So here, return null. And now we do the um, the loop. I made several loops here, so let me steal one of them. Uh, this one is next. Okay, let's do it. What's the function? Group core update. Jesus, let me close everything. If C value id is equal to this is not java you can make double equal with ed then return c value c um no nothing let's the make the next oh wait don't you need to check if this thing Hit the end. This is previous. We don't want previous. Ah, C is not equal to null. Okay. Um, so let's test this. So instead of fooling around forever. PL find ID um, this one so, all right we need to make it blinking too later on and we need to make all the other um, text boxes uh, to, then the markers become invisible but that's for another time Actually, I saw some programs that they made their own GUI system that don't make them invisible, the markers, and you have only the active one blinking. So I kind of don't blame them. So this one is visible false. And you see, do you see this one? If I click on it, it should have a white line in here. So click. You see? It's working. We could make it as um, if we save this variable somewhere and make it like visible, invisible, or whatever. So yeah, we done this task and I'm more than happy with that. Uh, next, we need to make it uh, accept text. So let's take a look on our tasks. We finished this one. We made a mouse click as a delegate. So before we made uh, accept values, uh, draw a text box and make a text box marker text box text marker make text marker visible when click 
Oh, Dex Fox. Uh, make other markers. This uh, um, visible false when click on um, a different text box and accept text. So we finished all of these guys. Hmm. Three hours and 20 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Only two hours to hit actually six hours. So actually it's four hours. Hmm. Well, I counted the break with them. So we didn't finish this part and I might not do it anyway. Uh, so we need to make the text box have a text value and take it from the keyboard. And then we need to make it Uh, accept two type of values, string and int, and maybe numbers in general. Later on, I can add the float to accept the, the point. So we need to make a way to accept them somehow. Maybe when you press enter or whatever. So I uh, I I might might be when click on enter and I might consider doing something other than the stupid script to deal with the uh, mouse click I don't think I will change the drag for now but maybe later on I'll make a customizable drag delegate and if it doesn't exist it's called the default delegate function thank you for watching and see you tomorrow